Hello, my beautiful and courageous friends. It's Natalie Kelly here. And today I'm here with Dr. Lori Chaikin, who's a rehab optometrist here in Alameda, California. When the waves came and when the storm raged, found myself falling into the ground. When the wind blew, that's when it fell through. And I don't know how to turn it around. I know there's more to me than the record you see. There's more to be. I'm still on the journey. The fluorescent lighting that occurs in most of those shopping situations um, has a huge effect on brain injury. And one of the reasons why is that fluorescent lighting has a lower flicker frequency. Mm -hmm. So flicker, f flicker frequency <laughs> threshold. <laughs> for you to say. <laughs> People with brain injury have a much lower threshold to that. And so the, the light is actually flickering and you become more sensitive to it. That's true. So it's not only that, but it's also that the rate of flicker is something that people become sensitive to. Now, most people with normal brain integration can tune that out, but people with brain injury may not be able to tune that out. And so the mm -hmm. flicker rate itself becomes something that is entraining the brain pattern. So your own brain pattern becomes influenced by that rate of flicker that um, now is causing you to become disorganized and you can't control it. Fascinating. So that's why we use... So the flicker's going at a certain speed. Right. I think it's a thousand flickers per second mm -hmm. and the brain starts to entrain with that and create the same Correct. brainwave pattern. Because it can't not. Which is why I used to walk in a room and have to leave immediately if there was a fluorescent light on. Correct. Wow. I have a, a, a patient who is a doctor, MD, public, public uh, service sector doctor that um, had a head injury. And as a result of that, one of her remaining triggers is fluorescent lights that is so severe that when she walks into a particular fluorescent lighting, first her speech goes, mm -hmm. she can no longer talk, mm -hmm. and then her lower extremities go and she's on the floor. Wow. She can no longer walk. And so she now knows what those triggers are. I can relate to that. And she can... Wow. She can, she knows what to do. I mean, she has turn the light off. Turn the light off. She has Baseball, visors yeah. and has that she used. And uh, she's tried some different colored filters that didn't particularly help her. But we've had other people that were able to um, respond well to different colored filters. Yeah. There's more to me than the record you see. 